Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. A big thank you to all the viewers who have subscribed to my channel. It means a lot. This is Sumanoj. We at Ealings provide a range of templates for various occasions. We do customize them based on your request. So please do have a look on all the videos that is posted on our channel if you like it. Please do hit the like button, share and subscribe for more such content. We at Ealings also provide tutorials on how to make e-cards videos and templates that are super easy using apps that are already available on the internet you can do it yourself and post it on social media or use it for business and educational purpose i am excited aren't you so here i have the site canva.com open i must say this is a very easy to use software which allows you to select among a range of options to post your content on social media for uh, personal reasons, business, marketing or education. You must give this a try because it gets things started in a GIF. So for today, I'm going to show you how to recreate this e-card which is as simple that you see. Now I'm going to create a copy of the template that you see on the screen right now. This little icon, the duplicate image, creates the exact copy. Select an element and having your shift key press, select each of the elements that's there on the screen and hit the delete button. You can also remove this color by clicking on the background and pressing the delete button. This background color option that you see allows you to select a range of colors. For this e-card, I have selected purple. There is another difference that you must observe here. There are new colors, default colors and the document colors. So when you open any new document, the document colors will not be visible. Once you start placing the elements onto the template, it will add on to the colors that you can use on your new template. This will provide more options for the colors. So uh, let me go to the elements tab. Here it provides different elements to choose from, from animated to shapes and to lines and whatnot. So here you can just key in the one that you're looking for. In my case, I am looking for Women's Day. So when I key in this word, I get multiple options. So since I've already created this template, I have all these elements under the recently used section. So I'm gonna go to the new page that I created, click on this element that is as per the first template you can place it anywhere over the screen i'm gonna place it right over here and these pink lines that you see are a very helpful in aligning different elements that you are gonna place on the template so i'm gonna place it right at the center resize it if you need it and this little icon that comes when you move closer to this button enables you to rotate the image so i'm gonna keep it straight for now yeah uh, yeah i think it's fine yeah now i'm gonna add the number eight so since march 8th is celebrated as the women's day i have picked up this number eight and drop it right at the bottom you can place it again anywhere as you wish but i'm going to place it right here next i'm going to pick up the text part so here i'm going to add a subheading say march you can resize it i'm going to place using the this icon to place it under or between these two images to the word you can 
assign different fonts, colors, the sizes and the effects. So here having March selected gives me option to select the font. So for this e-card, I'm going to put up Arai as the font style. Yeah. Now I'm going to pick up another text element and add Happy Women's Day. I'm so excited and very happy to start my first tutorial on Women's Day. Thank you guys for watching so yeah let me change the font here as well to Rai you can change it to anything but here I'm choosing Rai another thing that I want to show is the effect that you can apply on the text maybe I will do another tutorial but for now I'm gonna choose this curve effect that you see so you can either curve it up or curve it down super easy yeah I'm gonna curve it up this way yes I think we are done so you can even go ahead and change the font colors but I'm gonna leave it to yellow and yellow and one last element that we are yet to add is the flower at the corner of the template so place it as you like you can rotate it I'm gonna slightly rotate push it to the corner make it a little small and I need the same element on the other three corners so I'm gonna control C and control V so that I get three more copy of the same element I'm gonna place one right here one on this corner I'm gonna rotate it slightly so that it fits on this end and bring another one down and rotate it slightly and push it down and a little yeah I think it's done yes I think we have done our first simple e-card for women's day you can go ahead and download this template it gives you different options to save it like the image file video file if you add the audio or embed any video into it we'll do that later but for now this is a simple e-card which you can download and share it to your loved ones that's it for today so thank you guys thank you for staying up and watching on how to make this simple e-card I'll be coming up with more tutorials. Please stay tuned. Please subscribe. Aren't you happy that you got started with Canva? Yes, you surely must be. So uh, come along. Let's learn together. See ya for now.